I watched a program last night about protective gear for riders. In a recent Australian study, they set up a belt sander to simulate sliding down a bitumen road, then tested all sorts of fabrics. The leather lasted for a few seconds. And what about the fabric in those textile jackets that many of us adventure riders use? One quarter of a second. So if you do go for a little slide along the road, you will probably be leaving a lot of your skin behind after that first quarter of a second. A massive problem in Australia and many other countries is there are no required standards for motorbike riding gear. So the manufacturers are free to make up all sorts of bullshit claims about how well it works. Hopefully most won't do this. But there are many cases of them being misleading or not fully informing the customer. For example, they will put plastic or foam in the elbow or back of a jacket, but won't tell you it's not CE approved. And of course this stuff will just shred the moment it grinds along the road. Or if the padding is CE approved, they will sew a CE label into the jacket and let you think the whole jacket is CE approved when only the armour is. And of course the worst culprits will be the dodgy salesperson telling you it's a protective jacket when it could simply fall apart the moment you were sliding along the road. Last year I did a lot of research into helmet design and concluded that the European helmet standard is the best of a very outdated bunch of helmet standards. Well, the Europeans are leading again with their standards on personal protective equipment for motorbike riders. In Europe, riding gear must fall into one of these categories. Their standards test for impact abrasion resistance, burst strength and impact cut resistance. If you are looking at pants and jackets, it's worth remembering this diagram. It's surprising how often a manufacturer puts light textile material in the high abrasion areas. And some idiots will even put vents and mesh in those areas, which means almost instant contact of your skin with the road and even allowing the jacket or pants to rip open. Talk about the triumph of style over substance. Oh, and if you do road ride and have a leather jacket, make sure it has CE approved armour and it's double stitched. I came off once in a single stitched leather jacket and it almost immediately ripped along the seams effectively making it useless for any slide along the road. At some stage I'll do a comprehensive guide on good riding gear, but just figured this would serve as a hopefully useful introduction. Ride safe.